friends, this is Christopher Davis Shannon, and today I'm going to walk you through all three variations of the George Formby triple stroke. Now keep in mind that although these are generally used as eighth note triplets, we can really use it in any semblance of a three stroke pattern, be it eighth notes, quarter notes, sixteenth notes. And we'll see as we get to the last variation that this is something specifically that Formby did himself. The first variation that Formby would use is what we call the thumb roll triple, which is probably the most common way of playing an eighth note triplet on ukulele. Keep in mind as we go through this that the wrist motion for a thumb roll triple should be really the same as just a standard down and up strum. We're just adding in the thumb. We'll come down first with the nail of our index finger, follow through with the pad of our thumb, and then up with the pad of our index finger. So with an exaggerated motion, it'll look a little bit something like this. But when we put it in context, we need to keep our fingers much closer to the strings because this generally comes in more up-tempo pieces in form B style playing. So it'll really look something like this. Always keep it as close and light to the strings as you can. Now the thumb roll triple was generally used when the triplets would come on a downbeat in the strip, split stroke pattern. But in Formby style playing we also have these syncopated rhythms and if we wanted to throw a triplet on an offbeat we would use what's called the shake or in other schools of ukulele we call this the index finger triple and it's exactly as it sounds. It's just a quick down, up, down strum with the index finger making us need to make a faster motion and with this when it comes in form be playing we need to keep in mind to keep the touch very light and you can even angle your finger just a little bit so we're really using the tip of the nail i always think about just tickling the inner strings as opposed to doing a large down up down motion so the shake would sound a little bit something like this Our final variation is one that is indicative of Formby style playing, and that is the fan strum. The fan strum looks very fancy, but it's really just a play on the thumb roll triple. We'll still be coming through with our thumb and up with the index finger, but instead of leading with our index fingers, we generally do, we're going to come down with the nail of our pinky and let the rest of our fingers splay out like this, giving the illusion of the hand hovering over top of the string. So it would be pinky, thumb, up with the index. Now Formby would use this in two different contexts. It can be used as a triplet, much as the thumb roll or the shake would be, but it can also be used to replace the double down strokes in the split stroke pattern. If you think about this, it really is two down strokes in a row. So with the triplet, it would look and sound a little bit something like this. But if we put it in a split stroke pattern, it sounds like this. So we have two different uses for this, and really any of these triples can be used in any rhythmic context. 